Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this little video, we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Free Racing Car, and it appears to be an arcade type car. Let's take a look. So instantly, we can see that it is low poly, which I always say is not a bad thing, and these look fairly decent. Quality wise, I quite like them. They're really nicely made. Again, for low poly, I'd say, yeah, pretty decent. And you've got to remember that there are many different types of low poly. There are some really ultra low poly um, type models. And I don't think these are ultra low poly. They look fairly decent. So it does come with two demo scenes. Always love a demo scene. So this one that I'm in now is the second one. And the first one actually shows us a couple more of the models. Now, the asset itself describes itself as free racing car, although it does show five cars in the actual image of the asset, and we do indeed get five cars. So quantity-wise, I'd say it's fairly decent. It just, like I say, describes itself as one car, we get five, and we also get a little bit of track as well. You can see the road here. So maybe you could count that as an extra? Not entirely sure, but either way, if you're just after the car, I think it's good enough. So how easy are these cars to use? Well, I think they are fairly easy in all honesty, simply because they are separate models on the wheels. So you could theoretically create your own little micro machines kind of game with these vehicles. I think it would suit it quite well. So in terms of versatility, when we come to looking at the textures, as always with these type of models, it is usually just one texture applied to one or two materials and then applied to the model itself. So changing things around on one particular car may prove a little bit difficult because it would theoretically change everything that that uh, material is attached to. So it's not quite as versatile as I would like it to be, but at the end of the day, I think it would serve its purpose well enough the way it is. And I do like how they look. So how much is it and how big is this asset? Well, it's free as it does state right there and there. So hopefully this will stay free. But remember, prices do change all the time in the asset store. They go up, they come down again. So I, would, I think this one probably will stay free given that it is tagged free. Uh, file size is 1.2 meg. So that is an absolutely fantastic file size, especially if you're aiming for mobile devices. And I know I say that a lot in some of these review videos, but you've got to remember that a lot of people are creating games on mobile devices these days. And an asset of that size is something that would really appeal to these people. So how useful is this asset overall? I think it's fairly useful. Like I say, if you're trying to create a micro machine style game, you remember micro machines from the 90s from Codemasters? Well, I think these would probably do a really good job. I mean, there's a couple of different styles as well. Yeah, this one's got the go faster racing stripes. This one hasn't. So I suppose you could ultimately make a replica of the material, change it a little bit and, you know, modify it a little bit in that sense. So the folders are all nice and neat. Always good to see. Always good to see neat folders. Keeps everything nice and tidy and keeps it uniform, keeps it sensible. You don't get things lost or anything like that. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. And I'm sure you guys probably guessed by now. Yeah, of course I'd recommend this asset. I think it's a great addition to any kind of game that is low poly. Like I say, I know I keep coming back to this Micro Machines idea, but I really think they uh, suit quite well in Micro Machines style game in Unity. So if you fancy creating that uh, style of game, please do and let me know. And if you use these models, let me know as well. Anyway, so yeah, I would recommend this if I'm honest, um, even if just for prototyping, I would recommend it. Then e easy to use. It's It looks simple. It's small in size. It's free. You can't go wrong with these. So yeah, I would recommend them. So guys, do you have an asset on the Asset Store yourself? Or if you've used this asset in any of your games, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well. And you can stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. Because there's always loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do. Guys, I will see you around in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.